Hey everyone, uh, this is a test uh, Turnigy 20C 5 amp hour light bulb, fully charged, uh, hooked up to a very uh, low ohm, very low resistance uh, resistor bank. Um, how much resistance is it? Uh, let's see if I can tell you. It is, I can't even tell you actually, because it's hooked up. I don't think it's accurate. Um, it's reading 23 mil ohm when I read it with this, but um, I don't know if that's accurate because it's permanently soldered to the shunt and all that electronic stuff there. So, anyways, I could be right. Um, so, it's very low um, resistance load, enough to get this uh, one cell up to 120, 130 amps constant. Uh, this is about third, fourth time I've tried to do this. Um, the goal here is to fully discharge this light bulb as much as I can. Uh, it's probably a light bulb that's got 50 to 75 cycles on it. Not the best shape, but it's a little bit puffy, but it's uh, it works fine. Um, so the goal is to see the IR, like um, internal resistance versus the state of charge of the battery. Um, if it goes higher and such. Because I find that these light bulbs do get quite a bit warm when you're really pushing them. Um, and I uh, just want to see how low or how high the IRR gets. So um, I have a fan. Um, kind of the issue I've been experiencing is that this shunt, you'll see it there, um, the wire to the left of it, which is the battery discharge wire, keeps melting off because um, it's a 130 amp load. So um, I had a 10 gauge wire, but I've installed a 12 gauge, or sorry, a 12 gauge wire, I installed a 10 gauge. Um, don't know if that's going to even work, but uh, if I see things burning up too much, I might just turn my fan on. I'm not concerned with how accurate this test is, but just to give me a good idea, state of charge of the battery versus the um, uh, the uh, the IR of the battery, so I guess. So let's see, I'm going to just pause this for a sec. I think I'm going to just uh, turn on the fan just to be safe, because it's already two times I've already melted the wire and solder off the shunt so it might get a little, a little bit noisy for this little bit but um i'm going to measure the voltage and the ir as the test goes on i might cut this off around four uh to four and a half amp hour uh, so just bear with me a sec i'll be right back and uh the, the test will be started in just a minute all right we're back um so we're at 2.2 mil ohms it's 285 watts. I have the fan running <laughs> to cool the battery and possibly the uh, resistors, but let's see here. It's 2.85 volts. Well, you can tell how off the um, the watt meter is. 2.91 volt. Hopefully I don't lose the shunt. 123 amps constant, wow. We're almost at two amp hour. The IR is at 1.4 milli ohms. Still holding 3.3 volts. That is very impressive for um, 20C LiPo. That's holding over 20C continuous. 2.9 amp hour. Doesn't seem like my shunt is melting, which is good. 3.2. The voltage is starting to drop. I'm going to stop it at about 2.7 volts. I think I should stop it now. I'm gonna pop. All right, so let's see what we did. Um, 3.88 amp hour. Wow, this cell I don't think is good anymore. Um, that's it's a very interesting test, you know, just to see the capability of the lipo. That is really warm. Probably just gonna let it cool down for a bit. 
first of all. <laughs> That's what happens when you probably over discharge your lipo. Um, that is unbelievable. We'll check the IR again. Might as well. It's probably recovered a bit. You know, it's still pretty low. Two point. It's pretty constant, like from. I think we were reading about one point something at one point, and it's back at 2.4. So it has gone up a little bit, but it's not really that much. Um, I wonder what this light was going to be able to discharge the same current again. Let me shut off this vent. Sorry about that. I wonder if this light was going to be able to discharge that same amount of current again. That is impressive. So nearly four amp hour. This lipo wasn't even um, brand new or anything. This is an older lipo. I was saying it's say about fifty to seventy-five cycles on it. I don't really count it, so I'm not sure. But it's starting to um, reduce and puffing this a little bit. It went down a little bit. Um, regarding temperature, if I can find my temperature gun, I'll show you. Hold on. All right, just back for the temperature. So, you know, this is maybe two minutes after the test just ended. And it's still hovering. Well, we saw 58. No, wow, 60 degrees. That is a hot lipo. So, obviously, we're probably pulling way too much. Um, 58. So, I would imagine this probably hit 65 to 70. See, right near the end of that discharge. And it was interesting because it was just holding 3.3 volts and then all of a sudden it just dropped like a sack of rocks as you see in the video. Um, yeah, this is a gone back to pretty much what it was at the start of the test. It's, uh, it's starting to shrink down again. I wonder if I modify this uh, little discharger. Uh, maybe take off a resistor or two and just see... How many cycles we can get out of 100 amps? It'd be interesting to see, you know? Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, it was some interest to you just to see what these turning light bulbs can do. So, probably 130 amps. What do we peak? 100. Uh, 3.8 amp hour, uh, 10.9 watt hour. 132 amps, so yeah, so we're about 30 amps over, but maybe I'll do another test and um, we'll lower it to 100 amps and uh, we'll see if it uh, <laughs> if it bulges like this one did, but this was really bulged, look at that, it just went down though, that's pretty interesting, so, alright, thanks for watching.